so after a very difficult, I don't know, 10 hours, uh, we figured out that we should book a ticket to Lyon and then take a flight to Palermo. So we booked this bus from um, Grenoble to Lyon for like 40 bucks for two tickets. And, uh, and then we're gonna ta catch a flight to uh, Palermo, Italy. Uh, so yeah, what a dreadful day. Thank you. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Uh, maybe watch the sides so no one runs away with our bag. Oh yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, just keep watch. Uh, they closed it though, right? They closed it? Uh-huh. Okay. I was telling everyone what a dreadful day it was. Oh yeah. I almost had a mental breakdown three times. It's like uh, the forces of Grenoble, they want to keep us here. Mm. And it's just not possible to... Uh, leave this place it's beautiful but when you want to leave you want to leave and uh it does not help that it's hot as hell today i feel disgusting and uh and uh what is it called i have a sunburn so my uh, back hurts so bad so basically all day uh i had maybe 30 45 minutes of sleep last night couldn't sleep yeah um Woke up maybe around what eight o'clock. Yeah. We had breakfast and then nine a.m. We were down here at the bus station, car rentals. Just um, we were going everywhere. Just going to every single car rental, trying to see maybe we could rent a car, drop it off in Italy, whatever. That turned out to be like twelve hundred euros, okay, just to rent the car for a day and drop it off in Italy. Yeah. So that's nice. And then uh, we went back to the Airbnb packed up okay checked out by 11 and then and then found this blah blah car car sharing um like, it's like it's like hitchhiking it's hitchhiking like, yeah. but you pay for it whatever carpooling right yeah pay for carpool and uh probably got scammed around 1100 dollars um We'll see what happens with that. Yeah, well, we're taking we were a blah, blah we're taking a blah blah bus now. So, so like like I can say it's a real kind. We're disgusting. We're disgusting. Yeah. But um, what is it called? So. But the we, thing is that guy, the guy that we messaged was going to Rome. We're, we're technically had to be. Yeah. Um, which would have been really nice, and it was only a hundred euros for the both of us. Yeah. Uh, but it turns out he was like either he or the company was charging us like six times. Yeah, okay. yeah. So so he's like. So our payment wasn't going through. So so how it works is you pay, they send you a verification code, and you have to send this code to your driver so he can verify that you paid or whatever. Right. But the thing is, because he has like a card from RBC, uh, and it's in Canada, I don't know, so the, the verification was delayed. Right. And so I think there's like a time slot where you can like send the verification. I, I don't know if it's like within like two minutes, three minutes, because we would send a five Which minutes. Which is insane. I don't, I don't think that was true. So that's why I'm like, yo, this guy scammed us hard. This guy... This well, guy the, got, the company or whatever. I don't know. Maybe he's going to declare that, you know, he did arrive with us because the company gets the money and then the driver only gets paid when he arrives to the destination, right? Exactly. So imagine he's driving by himself and then he's gonna click, oh, I arrived to the destination with these two people and then he's gonna get paid out, right? Yeah, so that's but, my, that's but, my issue. but still, even so get if they right charge away. us, if yeah. they charge us though, it can only be $161. Yeah. That's it, or like what, what 100 euros, whatever. Whatever but, um, it is. So anyways, so dealt with that, yeah, okay, so, so at 11 o'clock we're like, oh yeah, like like we're all good, like we're good to go. Okay, we have a ride. He's gonna be here soon, so we're good to go to to Rome. I'll, like, pff, dude, we're chilling at a bar, yeah. and then he messages us and says, hey, uh, it didn't go through. The verification didn't go through. 
I have to try again, call your bank, whatever, and then I see that I've been charged four times. And, and then the fifth one got declined. Fifth one got so declined. So they were planning on yeah. uh, anyway, charging us more. It was insane. And then, and then when we contacted support, she was like, oh, this is our fault. The ride is on us. And we were like, okay, cool. But she's like, but you have to pay us 420 euros in no, order I think for it was like, us. No, I think it was like a language, like barrier. Basically, she's like, oh, you, honestly, that makes sense. She said, I have to have 420 euros in my account in order for them to send their refund. And I was like, I paid on credit card. Like, it doesn't even matter, like, how much I have on my account. That's what was so Yeah, confusing. no, no, but the way she was saying it, she was like, you have to pay us 420 euros in order, um... Uh, you have to pay us 420 euros in order for us to refund you 420 euros. Yeah, it was really weird. And we were like, what? And so, so, so like, so she's like, okay, I'm gonna send you like a one-time verification code. And so she did that, and we sent her the code. Right. And and then we got another verification code. So we got two verification codes. And um, and then, and then she's like, okay, yeah, check if you guys got refunded. And, and she we charged checked. me 420 euros instead of refunding us 420 euros she charged us 420 euros so i'm down like and then and then he he got pissed so so he was I like i was calm was yeah calm. but but your your text was perfect. like pissed. oh it was like dude i can't make it back to canada yeah now. he's like, like how, how am i gonna have just, money to yeah. get back to canada i had just like, to cause some sort of urgency right yeah no exactly and then and then after and then she signed off and then she left the conversation <laughs> she left the conversation so i was like dude Yo, this go go or gla gla or whatever it's called is a scam. Yeah, so now so now we need to figure out how we're gonna get your money yeah, back. We're gonna figure that out. We're gonna do it. Like I'm Yeah. Do you like I'm And then after that I was just like, listen, we gotta we gotta get out of this uh, yes. we are at a bar this like for like four hours. We are at a bar. Yeah. Just sitting we, there. We were like ordering out. like coffees, espressos, and then we're like, okay, Pepsi oh, and then right. like uh with it we got ravioli. Um and so we were like trying to figure it out and we're like, we're yeah. gonna get it. By the end, we just ended up losing like, uh, how much? It was like, uh, it was like 900 euros around. Yeah, that's like Yeah, that. 900 euros. So we were like, okay. And then, um, and yeah, then we came here and we we're trying to figure yeah, out, okay, we, where we, should we go? We came to this, to the Grenoble station, just out here and sat here for what? Like another three, four hours? I don't know. I don't know. What time is it right now? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay. So, it's so seven o'clock right now. We've been scavenging this whole area since nine a.m. Yeah, because we were looking for train tickets to Italy, but those were too expensive. And then, um, and then. Yeah, right now it's like very difficult to get to Italy. For some reason, it's very difficult to get to Italy, yeah. or like even around. I I, I don't, I don't get it. I, I literally don't understand why it's so difficult to get to Italy. But whatever. Um, we're going to Lyon, and then tomorrow we're taking a plane to, to Palermo. Palermo. Oh, I have to book that right now. So yeah, here you can talk to the camera if you want. Okay. If you don't want, you just. Um. So, <laughs> guys, I want to talk about suicide like awareness. <laughs> and <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I was I was really pissed oh, off. No. I was I almost got run over by a car today, <laughs> and I was like, please. Keep going. <laughs> why'd you why'd you stop? <laughs> no, nah, but seriously, I was pissed off today because it's like I'm hot, I'm sweating, and uh, in Europe they don't do AC. I don't know why, but they don't do as AC. They do it in this bus. But you do um, passports. Pardon? Passports. Yes. Um, use my. Uh, Both our passports. Use my Polish one. I told that you're Canadian, so. Are you serious? Sure. Okay, well then change it. Um. Thank oh, you. I didn't. Okay. Pardon? No, I didn't. You didn't? Okay. Um. Anyway, so not only that, we were like, okay, where do we go? We need to. We just need to leave the country or like leave the city. And so we're like, okay, we'll go to Genève in uh, Switzerland. Sorry, I need light. Oh, so. So I was like, okay, we'll go to Genève, to Switzerland. And I paid for the tickets. And the payment went through. But then right after the payment went through, the internet started getting crazy shitty. And they didn't, upset, uh, they didn't end up sending me my tickets. So 
so I paid. Oh, so you got charged? Yeah, I got charged. Oh man. Yeah, so I got charged. Like it was thirty dollars, but um, Damn. that's not that's not a big deal. I mean, it's like two hours of work or whatever. Um, <laughs> but I got char charged thirty bucks, and um, and I have no tickets to Geneva, Switzerland. So then I left the train station out of frustration. I went to go find a bathroom and found myself at a bakery and I spent like 15 euros on like uh, panini and uh, tartelle au pomme and uh, liquid. Oh, I want to try that. Yeah, it's delicious. Yeah, it looked good. Yeah. Oh, and you bought, did you eat that cookie? No, I didn't finish it. Is it here? Is it here? Okay, oh, oh, good. Okay. Um, so. Yeah, so I just ended up, ended up finding food, I didn't find the bathroom, and uh, came back, had to pay a euro to, to take pee out of my body. And um, yeah, just leave it where my legs are. Um, so yeah, so we live in a world where we have to pay to pee. But the thing is, like, bathrooms are supposed to be, like, if you pay for it in Europe, like, it's supposed to be clean. Nice nice and clean and like modern exactly. or whatever. This was like, okay, honestly, I went before Abby and, and uh, I was in the stall and all I hear is like, Ale, 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 get out of here. Like the lady that was taking the money yeah. was yelling at someone saying, Ale, Ale. Basically like, like go, go, go. And then this guy was like really calm and basically like sending her away. Okay, like telling her like, screw you. Yeah. And then she started like freaking out, just like, oh my god, like what are you doing? Kind of stuff, right? What are you doing? You're paying and then, you're not paying. Oh my for it. gosh. So I came out of the stall and there was like a wet floor sign and like mop like mop marks, right? So my assumption is like this guy was like, screw you, I'm not paying to use the washroom. Yeah. I'm gonna piss on the floor right in front of you. So yes. that's what I thought would happen. That was Show them the mountain. The mountain. Do you guys see? Yes, you do. This is the mountain. Oi. That's me. Um. Recording it. Wait, it's uh, okay. There we go. Um. <clears throat> anyways, today was a. It was, it was a shitty day. Kind of. I was frustrated. Um. But I had good food. And we will laugh at this in five days. So, actually, we'll laugh at this once you get your money back and yeah. win double the amount of money after we hire a lawyer and sue the entire company. Um. um. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to Lyon. It's fine. We're going to get out of the country somehow. 